All right, welcome to EVE Online and Major Freak. Let's get this uh, industry uh, tutorial started. We've uh, got a few things to cover. Um, welcome to EVE. Uh, you'd like to build things from scratch. That's great. Uh, let's start with the easiest one that everybody likes, the damage control one. Get the blueprint and it's an original because we buy it for like 50,000 uh, credits from any of the uh, blueprint uh, stations around, especially your starting uh, uh, courier agent or whatever uh, academies. Uh, get it from there and fly to Amar, the hub, and dock up. Now there's going to be a few things right off the bat that's going to affect your, your when you build it and you want to sell it. Um, there are a few things that are going to affect you. Um, building wise, it's going to be uh, on the ingredient side, it's going to be a, there's no skill that's going to lower that uh, for the ingredients, um, but it's going to be uh, an up, uh, a player station type called engineering type, and that's for Taru, um, Asbel, and Zatio. Uh, they all give the same benefit, so don't worry about it. And you're looking for one that uh, uses an equipment rig uh, tech one equipment rig that will get you a bonus even further on the ingredients and that's pretty much your only modifiers is an engineering upwell with an equipment rig uh, for damage control and also if you research that blueprint up to 10 me which won't take long trust me it won't take long um, at all in your life of Eve, forever, but it in the long term things, it's totally worth it. So you've got that at 10 AME, you found uh, a decent s station with a rig on it, and you want to start building. Well, hold on a second. Let's talk about the other important thing, job cost, because job cost can cut, it's not much, but the job cost can cut into your final sale, which, you know, if you're doing bang for buck is important. Even if you're, even if you're mining all the materials for the damage control, which you can in high set, just by mining. And your major cost is going to be system index. Um, anything else is kind of like a percentage of a percentage, uh, like taxes um, at the structure itself for using the the industry. Uh, there's another sales tax and broker tax on the final sale when you go to the market the market interface is different from the industry interface you know all know that i'm preaching to the choir so let's get started all right voila all right, let's clear up all this stuff for now just getting the windows in the right place uh first thing you want to do let's minimize that uh, when you first enter EVE, you think, oh, the local hubs have all these great deals in, in local chat, and maybe it's some friendly person who, you know, c can't stand the, the, ge the, the game of, of manipulating the market and just wants a quick sale and is willing to give a good deal because he just wants to get rid of it. Fire sale kind of thing. No. Anything that's in local, 100% a scam. Just ignore your local hub. Basically, that's it, period, done. That's your number one thing. All right, let's move on. You have a damage control blueprint. Um, it's the functionality of the indus industry window, uh, right clicking on it, uh, is best if you actually own the blueprint. And you don't have to research it yet in order to examine the full functionality of this industry tab, which is awesome, by the way. So. We're going to increase the ME, this diamond here, to 10, and it's simulated. Uh, this is a player, uh, this is an NPC station, this is the hub. We don't want to build here. The job cost is going to be obscene. The system index is going to be outrageous. Uh, yeah, uh, it goes from 0 0.08 all the way up to 14%. So yeah, let's try to get it as low as possible. And I went around searching, and this is the lowest um, system index player owned station uh, that has the rig for um, the equipment and the modules are equipment. So 
these this is the roll bonuses and this scroll thing this this window right here shows you all the uh, bonuses to the um, to them stuff you want to build that has a rig specifically for that and there's the module that's the equipment rig and I'll hover here and yeah the system index is uh, 0 0.12 so that's pretty good that's like 50% more than the lowest you'll get so yeah uh, you could go I'll show you differently but this is the best way to do it <clears throat> so equipment rig player owned station and you own the blueprint and you have it in your possession so you will see the installed rig bonus and you'll see it here is reflected here as well okay um, that's really low that's a great price see these obviously uh, this is self-explanatory uh, I'm sure you've all seen when you reprocessed your ore you'll see the titanium and the pyrite uh, Mexilon is available uh, from Peroxeries and Plague class this is Caldari and uh, in matter space anyways um where is this found uh no it's not telling you ah lol um but yeah anywhere in spirits it's either going to be one of the two not both so either pyroxeries and high sec or plagio class and that'll be around between 0.5 system and 0.8 i think uh maybe nine i forget anyways um it goes um uh, feldspar and then next uh Next after that is Scordite. I forget what the. Give me a sec. That would be. All right, Scordite. I guess Scordite's available all over, so Scordite. And then after that, it's either Peroxeries or, if you're in a different domain, um, Plagio Glass. One of the two. And they, they, they're approximately the same. Um, one gives. 70 units and i'm sure the other one is similar uh, okay 30 units all right, all right my bad um so yeah sucks to be mr but i like more anyways so this is all available from high sec you can mine all that um you can bring it to duramok uh with the blueprint uh, you cannot uh, use a blueprint um, from a ship cargo bay, but if you go to the blueprints and you're docked only if you're docked at a, uh, a station or an upwell that has a industry facility, you'll see it reflected in right here. And if it doesn't, you won't be able to see your blueprints that you have. Um, but if you do dock, you'll see all this. All right. So, there we go. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, and we've told you we, you can simulate this. And if you own the blueprint, you can simulate the rig. And you can do that anywhere. Now that you own it, and it's in your item space that you can actually click on, It'll recognize the rig, so when you do actually hover over this stuff and see, um, I don't think this is, has, does it have a rig? I don't think so. Does it? Equipment. Equipment. Can I? Module and module, right? Module. No, it doesn't have. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't have an equipment rig. Um, so you click on it, you, you you're going to cost you more in ingredients, even though it's a huge Satio and it's got all those these awesome stuff. It just doesn't have your rig, so it's only going to give you one percent bonus, like any other engineering bay does. Um, the upwell, I mean, yeah. Um, you could. The key to this is making sure the manufacturing tab is got the arrow pointing up. So that begins with the absolute lowest, and of course the absolute lowest is 0 0.08, but you, you can see it here, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 0 0.08, 
or you can hover over here. It'll show you the same thing, 0 0.08, but it's low sec, so you want high sec. And that'll give you, um, I think, point, what, uh, 1.2, right? Oh, 0 0.09. That's pretty good. So 0 0.09, and that's going to cost you 6 ISK. But, yeah, that's, uh, oops, Jeremok. Jeremok. There we go. It costs you 7 ISK. Woo. So it's pretty good. Uh, this, this, of course, system index cost is from that number. And then everything else is basically a percentage of a percentage, right? Um, this will be a percentage of that 0.2, and this will be a percentage of that, uh, sorry, percentage of this number right here. So it's basically going to be zero, okay? So everything under the system index cost is just a percentage of a percentage. So easily ignored. Um, it's nice that they have a point uh, as a four percent tax. That's nice. I've seen some as low as 0 0.5. Anyways, so this is just your job cost, and that'll cost you directly. Um, your other tax cost, of course, is when you go to sell it, and selling something like this at Amar, uh, it usually hovers about seven thousand isk. On average, sometimes it goes up, but yeah, the minimum is usually seven thousand ish. Um, and your job cost, you can right-click and go buy all. Uh, don't click on this. Make sure to get in the habit of clicking on this, and you go buy all, and it will show you that it's going to. Um, if you if you sold, and these commodities are usually really tight between buy and sell orders. Um, You know, they're offering 3.6 and uh, Miss Saba. Don't go to Miss Saba. It's a death trap. Um, it's a low sec thing. So if you see something cheap and you see some Miss Saba, don't. All right. Um, so, yeah, it's it's usually a good price. Uh, I, I like Amar and anything other than uh, the Forge where the main... Uh, the main kind of uh, Eve universe uh, hub is for marketing. Um, it, it's low end minerals have historically been always higher um, or more expensive, sorry, um, to purchase um, than other places, the sell orders, right? Um, so I'd recommend building elsewhere uh, because A, selling the minerals directly to market gives you more bang for your buck. And that's where, where I'm at. I don't do industry. I mine and I sell the ingredients because I've always considered it a lose-lose situation when you get into the industry because somebody's always going to undercut you. Yeah, so it's... Yeah. But 7,000, um, and you can sell for... Eh, give me a sec. Right clicking there. Okay, so yeah, seventh. So we are looking at a loss. And thankfully, the job cost is low, but still, we're looking at a loss. And not only that, when you do this kind of uh, order, you will incur and see this market orders right here. Click on that. And you'll bring up um, what it, it'll cost you in tax. Um, and I have shitty, I probably have alpha level um, trade skills. Oh, by the way, if you're annoyed that you can't minimize this thing, uh, just use a journal thing. Um, easy enough there. Yeah, done. Okay, um, minimize trade, uh, we've got accounting three, so it's not bad. Our sales fee is going to be like 5.36 instead of, I think, eight base. Um, and if you get your, and, uh, actually, you know what? Alphas can't train accounting, but they can train broker relations to level two. So it's further influenced the, uh, 
the the sales uh, tax for broker relations is going to be reduced if you have high standings with say Emperor, Emperor family um, I'll be doing a a, a noob it tutorial for doing uh, the Emperor family and you know where the best um, uh, new training sites are for missioning and my highest recommendation is get to Quir, um K-E-H-O-U-R and run missions at level 1, level 2, level 3 all in the same station um, and you can get your corporate standing up and that corporate standing is what lowers your fee for reprocessing and for um, apparently market orders it'll lower the three percent a bit more so that's pretty cool um, so what you're looking at right what I'm looking at right now is um, and any skill you have will not lower ME they'll lower the time of the dur duration of the job but it won't lower ME so all right um, sales tax is blah, 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 a total of 8.36 currently so that's pretty shitty and 8.36 they actually redid their calculator so I'll use that instead of the out of being one so uh, so your sales I I suck at math but uh, we're going to ignore Masaba and go with what is we see the lowest for MR so six nine five zero if you put a sale sell order uh, you're going to be paying Okay, we'll do it this way and just minus it, right? Times 1.0836. Did I do that right? <coughs> Bugger. 1.0836. Okay, so minus. I suck at math, so I'm doing it long. Right, uh, minus uh, six nine five zero. Oops, it's actually six nine zero zero, the lowest. But bugger. Anyways, whatever. Close enough, right? Um, so you'll be paying. Oh, damn it! All right, we'll start again. Six thousand nine hundred. Bloody stupid thing. Six nine hundred times one point zero eight three six. Minus six nine zero there. Okay, so we're paying a sales tax of uh, five seven six five seventy seven plus seven. So we're upping what this value is. Um, actually, we're reducing this value. Wait. So wait a minute. How to explain this properly? I'm going to take this and put it in my ship. I'm going to take that and I'm going to take the ingredients for what we need is 47. 47. Because I never I never go by uh, sell orders. I always go by what could I get by just going to market and freaking selling it right there. You know? Why would I waste my time building something when I can just get iskies? So this is your opportunity cost right here. So sell items is, okay. So I am making a profit of 6,000, okay? So if I pay uh, sales tax, it'll be the sales tax and the job cost tax, um, I'll, I could sell it for that ridiculous price right there. Um, okay, my, I screwed up on the math there, but whatever, cl we're close enough. Um, so I was thinking this was Masaba, but it's not. Okay, so 7,000, I don't do math very well. You guys are probably way ahead of me if you're interested in industry but you can see what I've brought up I've got what you would pay you to buy the stuff and what it would get you if you just mine this 
crap and just sold it directly to market. So this has got to be um, this has got to be greater than this in order for you not to think, oh, it's I could I could build this and I could sell it even competing at this low level and still get a tiny bit of profit, right? So is it worth it though? So what are we looking at? We're looking at um, a sales tax when you do that of 576 approximately, 577 plus seven. So 577 plus seven equals and that's uh, reducing that's reducing our sales profit right I did math oh my god I'm so proud lol okay uh, so approximately 6300 is your profit um, if you mind went to the station, spent about six mi minutes building this, and sold it to the market. Of course, you probably make 10 of them. Um, sell it to the market, try to beat out this price. And as long as you didn't go below this number, you'd make a small profit, right? Um, this is also taking into account your sales tax. Um, since you don't put up a buy order, there's no broker fee. So it's just a sales tax, and of course you want to lower that more. I recommend training accounting to uh, five for your dedicated trader, hauler. I usually, uh, if you've got a hauler alt, use that as your trader as well. Um, and possibly get your reprocessing scrap metal uh, trained up for that character as well. So you can go to Amar, because anywhere in, in EVE, except a certain low sec stations uh give you a flat 50 percent uh reprocessing you can increase that with skills to 55 percent, i believe um but yeah anyways so that's what you're looking at a small profit building this thing takes six minutes uh Jeremok is what uh not too far away that's not too terrible for a noob to do um i know when i started going six jumps was a pain um yeah um and you know i mean if people enough people realize that jeremoch is a great place because it's got large ship rig for like dirt cheap system cost and people under actually understand system index and taxes and all that stuff um yeah it'll probably increase in system costs because system index is um the amount of people using jobs in the EVE universe versus um, the amount of people using in that system. So you take the latter and divide it by the former, and that's your system cost, system, bleh, system index. Um, the EIV is different than the estimated, uh, total estimated price because that estimated price is a more up to date than the outdated EIV, which was based on like old stuff. Yeah, layers upon layers upon layers. Uh, by the way, you can use a blueprint uh, that you find anywhere, but unless you own it, you will not see the rig. And if you're not docked at a station with the facilities, you won't see all your blueprints. Um, these, I would ignore these when you're new. Just dump all your ingredients and your blueprints in your item bay. Nobody's going to take it from you. You're safe. Um, if you go to Jormok, I would recommend you not leave them there. Uh, once you're done, don't leave anything there. Just take them. Uh, it's it's just getting a good habit of leaving everything like that at NPC stations and blueprint originals best place to probably go is if you're building stuff at Jermock just go to the nearest um sorry one sec go to the nearest NPC in that system and yeah that one will do I mean um, they're both the same 
you can't it's a pity they don't have a tavern showing what agents are there uh but that's uh hugely low on the freaking list of my priorities too oh my god ccp freaking fix this kind of list uh and there are some things i'm not going to approach them with with hey why don't you fix the cosmetic bug well it's not really cosmetic because it affects this stuff too uh, of the slight bug when you simulate something you don't own in the blueprint section you can simulate and see the roll bonuses you can simulate and see everything except it won't show the rig that you can see in the facilities but that's such a low priority guess why because if you bring them something like this they might actually either break it and then brag they fixed it or they'll get so embarrassed about that f up they'll just rip out if they they'll either revert or they'll do something stupider like uh, gimp the industry window just to say we fixed it there's no longer a disparity disparity because if you just remove the the function all, altogether but they won't word it like that they'll be like, we fixed it and you're like no you didn't but whatever they have control of the media so we don't so let's just back away slowly from that sleeping dog and not wake it all right um yeah so that is how you make a slight profit in eve uh hopefully i did my math right but i'm sure you guys are laughing if you have any any more knowledge of math than i do and you're really interested in this kind of industry stuff i'm sure i probably made some kind of mistake in there but at the moment it's feeling almost flawless <laughs> what anyways there you go you're welcome uh have a good day enjoy and this is probably like 50 minutes long I wanted to make it five minutes and under just to compete with the at the recent uh ccp video but there's no way have yourself a great day see you later